everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today I thought I'd talk about what I got up to on my programming internship as part of the UK Space Agency's Space Placements in Industry Scheme. So essentially I was involved in the Space Placements and Industry Scheme which was managed and organised by the UK Space Agency and it essentially involved working on a research project that was aimed towards a satellite or a space flight funded project and it was honestly incredible what I managed to kind of get up to. So I thought I'd create a video just explaining kind of what it was that I did and what the scheme was in general. So I'm going to break it into two parts. Firstly I'm going to explain what the scheme was and secondly just explain what it was that I did and then finally I'm just going to say a little bit about application advice as well. So firstly the scheme was the space placements and industry scheme as I've said a few times already in this video and as I said it's essentially just a chance for interns to work on a satellite or a space flight funded project. So my project specifically was, and this is a little bit of a mouthful, it was FMCW Doppler Radar Profiler Data Post Processing which as I said <laughs> is quite a mouthful but it essentially involves analysing and programming data in Python and visualising it with user capabilities. So I was able to work on an atmospheric observation system, a DRCP, which all of this probably doesn't make a lot of sense, like it's a little bit kind of confusing to get your head around, but I essentially worked on an atmospheric observation system and I programmed a lot of the data that was kind of stored from this atmospheric observation system and that's why I've decided to do a data analysis type course on, them, on my channel because I do have experience working with data in a kind of working environment and that's what I did mainly on my internship but it was just <laughs> honestly incredible I can't tell you how amazing it was so the scheme itself is aimed at UK students so you have to kind of be enrolled at university it can be any year from first year to your final year and you just work on as I said a space flight or a satellite funded project and the companies that you work with are all under the UK Space Agency kind of Harwell campus as well as the Open University if you have heard of the Open University which is just like an online university and start doing a university degree but the Open University do have massive kind of a part to play in the UK space industry and they do a whole load of research as well. So that kind of is the premise of the scheme itself. It was aimed at student university students and it just gives them eight weeks to work on a satellite or a space flight project and gain you know working experience at the time and as I said mine was um, FMCW Doppler radar profiler data post processing which again as I said <laughs> is an absolute mouthful um, but that's essentially like an overview of the scheme itself. Uh, a little bit of background in terms of internships and my experience like, applying to internships. So I was applying in my second year of university and I was applying for software engineering roles, kind of anything to do with coding, Python coding. And then also I was also looking at things to do with aerospace or space. I'd actually secured four internship offers and I was at the point where I kind of just needed to decide which one I wanted to take. So I had internship offers for software engineering, software development, aerospace engineering and then a research and development one as well and all of them <laughs> within the space of a week all got cancelled because of coronavirus and it was just, it was pretty heartbreaking I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of, I was all ready to kind of go and do a software engineering internship or aerospace and to spend a lot of time doing applications and interviews for them to then get cancelled not just one of them all of them to get cancelled it was a bit of a kind of sad moment I guess <laughs> I did get a little bit sad but I then decided instead of getting upset about it and, and just thinking you know wasting my time I thought I would see if there's anything that is running this year and this is when the space placements and industry popped up I found that specific project and it said programming in Python, you'll do this, you'll do this. It was very physics-y maths, obviously I study maths at university. So I was like, yes, I definitely want to kind of go for this project and I was successful. You know, I managed to get the, the job and it has opened up so many incredible opportunities for me since then. So I'm so thankful that although I did have internships cancelled, I'm so thankful that this was the one I ended up getting and everything that's come out of it has been phenomenal so that's a little bit of background for, for you in terms of where I'd applied and also you know what I actually ended up getting. So this is the one that I did end up getting, the UK Space Agency funded project and I worked with a company called S and AO and my supervisor was Dirk and he was just incredible. Honestly I had the best time but that's what I'm going to get on to now. So the next part is just explaining what I did on my internship. It's only going to be very brief um, you know for confidentiality reasons I can't go into too much detail I can't 
show you data sets or anything like that. I'll show you kind of research papers and stuff. But essentially, I was just tasked with taking this atmospheric observation system so I had to learn about the physics and the maths behind how it worked and also to look at kind of radars. So I worked a lot with radars and there's a lot of physics and maths kind of behind how radars work and frequencies and stuff like that. I had a lot of research papers that would talk you through the literature behind you know how this atmospheric observation system worked, kind of looking at diagrams and stuff like that and I was basically tasked with visualising data but corresponding it to obviously what was happening in real life. Um, so as a bit of a summary of the things I did, I would create velocity intensity diagrams, um, whole data set coverages, which is kind of where you can see what was happening on a given day from this atmospheric observation system. I would also look at how range and Doppler velocity were extracted from observed spectra. I spent a lot of time understanding how backscatter spectra corresponded to kind of weather patterns, which was quite <laughs> in depth. But I spent every single day of my internship programming in Python and it was honestly incredible. I learned so much and it was so nice to be able to put all kind of the knowledge that I'd learned that I had already in Python into this internship but also learn so much more. I learned so much on my internship and I think I'm so glad that I got the chance to do this internship because it's opened up so many different areas of tech to me and working on a project that's you know related to space it was just phenomenal to me. I think, obviously I would love software engineering regardless, you work for a firm, but I think what I love so much about this internship was it felt like it had real life applications to what was going on in the space sector and I love space, so for me it was honestly phenomenal. As I said, I spent every day programming in Python. I did have meetings with my supervisor quite frequently and that was just to kind of get us up to speed. Obviously it was remote, which I haven't actually mentioned, the internship because of coronavirus, I wasn't able to go down to Harwell campus, which is, if you don't know, and if you're not from the UK or you just don't know in general, Harwell campus is basically the big space hub. So we have the European Space Agency Centre, the UK Centre there, we have the UK Space Agency, and then we have loads of other space firms as well. And ordinarily I would have been down there, which is down south for me, because I'm up north, <laughs> if you can't already tell from my accent. So my internship was remote, so I did everything from Kind of it was my university accommodation and it was slightly different but i felt like under the circumstances i managed to get kind of a lot done and i was i was really happy with the the project itself and everything that that came about from it in terms of what i had to do towards the end there was a big space showcase by that was held by the satellite applications catapult and all of the space interns or spin interns because there were about 50 of us all together which is quite um it was quite cool to say there were like thousands of applications. I was quite pleased to have you know, been one of the one of the 50. We all had to do a showcase on what we, you know, our project was because everyone's project was slightly different. And so I had to make a kind of poster and, and show people what I'd actually got up to over the summer. And I also had the opportunity to write my own research paper, which again was absolutely phenomenal. So in terms of what I managed to do, yes, it was more towards research and more towards kind of space applications. But that's why I wanted to feature on this channel because a lot of people have this misconception that if you learn to code you must have to go you must go into software engineering or you must you know software development front end all this people have this misconception and what I've managed to do is take two things I'm so passionate about so space and tech merge them together and you know get a job or an internship in this case and hopefully a future job with the two combined so if you love something and you also love tech, see if there are jobs available, you know, with stuff that you do love and that's what's kind of worth reiterating on my channel is you don't have to go and do software engineering if you learn to code, there are so many other things that are available to you. So, so that is a bit of a brief overview of what I did kind of get up to on my internship. I've tried to keep it relatively short because I understand I can, I can be giving you a lot of information right now so I just thought I'd keep it short and, and sweet so you can understand what I did get up to. And hopefully it'll inspire a few of you as well to maybe pursue a career in the space sector or look at career paths that are different to what you originally planned. I think just as long as you're doing a job that you enjoy, that's that's the best thing. And as I said, I would briefly kind of explain application advice. Now what I've decided to do instead, because this video is already long enough as it is, I'm going to create another video and it's going to tell you exactly all of the application advice that I would give for those people that are applying to jobs. So this probably will come after this video so make sure you subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for that video because I will tell you exactly what I did 
to land the internships that I got, albeit some of them got cancelled because of coronavirus, but I will give you kind of in-depth um, run through of what I did and then advice I would give if you are applying to any kind of tech job, which hopefully will be helpful to some of you because I am a student and I've been through it and hopefully you know you will, will be going through a similar process. So I thought I'll make another a separate video on that, which hopefully will be of benefit to some of you. But that is the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments and I will, I'll do my best to answer. But that is the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment. And I will see you all in the next video.